crispy fish, golden fried. <laughs> Those ads are wild, dude. Lads and lasses love to come to Long John Silver's. They can't wait to try the tasty fish. Long John Silver's was once the biggest seafood fast food joint in the United States. Since then, this Kentucky-based fast food chain has lost over half of its locations and it's said to be completely gone in the next five years. All over the internet and food media, this restaurant is consistently ranked as the worst and bottom of the barrel fast food chain to ever exist. My hat is falling off. Can you not? Can you not fall off? Furthermore, it's been drowning in mountains of debt. It's being passed around like your mom by multiple parent companies. And it just continues to struggle to find its footing in the fast food landscape. Today, I want to delve in to this mystery, all right? I want to find out how Long John Silver's, the biggest fast food seafood chain, has become the worst fast food chain on the verge of closing and shutting down forever. But before we explore the history and find out what wrecked this restaurant, I wanted to travel to Long John Silver's myself and experience it as a customer. Now most people, they literally have to drive two hours just to review this restaurant. I'm lucky because I happen to have one five minutes from here. We're lucky, we have it, well I don't know if we're lucky, but we have it within five minutes of us. But we'll find out, I actually have high hopes for this. I really want to like it, I love seafood. Do you like seafood? I, I like some seafood. I like shrimp. Have you been to fen or not Fenix? Um, Fentanyl? I thought that's what you said. It's not what <laughs> Let's I try. Oh, it's right there. Oh! It looks kind of weird. It looks closed. I thought it was closed. It looks a little weird. Like, I like the, um... I think it has a really fun aesthetic. It just looks dirty. <laughs> it looks yeah. weird. It looks like they haven't cleaned it in five fucking years. We finally arrived at the restaurant and I was actually pretty impressed. They actually had an open dining room. It wasn't closed. Nice. The interior was fun. There was tons of seating, so much cool decorations. It really felt like a unique aesthetic in the fast food landscape. Especially when so many fast food restaurants have this dull modern look that it's just not fun, dude. Like I want if I'm going to McDonald's. I want to feel like a kid again. I don't want to feel like a sad office dude who just works on five to nine and just wants to cry and end his life. That's what it makes me feel like. No, I want to get a Long John Silver's with these fun buildings. So the dining room's actually open. I'm really impressed by it. I did not expect that. I yeah, was really it's, happy. It's not only that, it's really quite sad. The, the, <laughs> inter the interior is beautiful. All right, they have really cool decorations everywhere. It's unique. It's fun, but there's nobody there. There's so many seats and there's so, like, there's different rooms. It looks like a real restaurant, but there's nobody there. Not a single soul was in there. I remember when I was a kid, they had like all those little like crowns lined up and we would always- um, Oh, I'm getting a yeah, crown. I saw them, it was like, I'm getting a crown. Okay. Why are you saying okay? Like I'm childish or something. It's for everyone. No, we can get some. It's not for, just for kids. I know, we can get some. I want to try to get, the, I feel like they have a meal with everything. That's my goal. I want to get some, a little bit of everything. My car would shut the <gasps> fuck up. Can I get the uh, number 11? Thank you. Not even badly priced. Like you get a sample of everything for only twelve sixty nine. Thank you. Also, um, she really wanted one of the crown hats. Did she get one of the hats? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. She really wanted one. You cannot use me to get the childish shit that you want. It's so hard, bro. How are kids supposed to figure this out? This ain't meant for fucking bomb diffusers. Bro, that's not gonna fit on my head. It's like watching a monkey with a Rubik's Cube. How does this work? I want to be a captain. Damn it! I want to be a captain. You are a captain. Oh, no, not without Long John Sower's hat. You're a captain of my heart. What's so long about John anyways? <laughs> Why is there no instructions? No kid's gonna get to be Long John Silver if they can't wear the hat. You know, we actually, we figured out the hat. You know, it's actually really easy. It's, you just take this and, I don't know why she was freaking out. Damn it! But it's really, it really wasn't that hard. But now I'm a captain. I'm Long John Silver. I'm Long John. <laughs> you guys don't know this location. This is a very iconic location, a lot of, Great stuff happened here. All right, we got a Long John Silver's bag. I'm low key. I am hoping for the best. All right. People say it's fucking dog shit. So, but I don't believe them. It smells good, and they have they have a captain's hat. All right. What place gives you a cap? What what place makes you the daddy? Like they don't. You know, like you can't be Ronald McDonald at McDonald. You have to just look at him. 
imagine what he feels like. You can't okay. actually become him. I, I am Long John. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> you think... Okay, never mind. We got our rice. Kind of does not look very happy. <laughs> um, that kind of looks like maggots, actually yummy. This is nice. Look at this packaging. This is beautiful. You don't see this often in fast food, but like someone about long, it just has character, dude. It has character. McDonald's looks like a boring, it's like, I don't wanna keep dogging on McDonald's, but it's not even a video about them. All right. I hope the food looks good. Oh. <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. To be determined. To be determined. Oh. Oh. We'll <laughs> I didn't mean for that to be so violent. All right, we got our piece of chicken, our two fish, our hush puppies, our fries, and our shrimp, and our tartar sauce and malt vinegar. I think we should start with the, the rice. The maggots. Oh my god, how are you good? Nah. -uh. Yes. It's not like amazing, but it, it doesn't taste bad. Like what it actually is, like it has some good flavor. What is flavor it supposed there. to be? Just like it's supposed to be fucking rice. What kind of plain ass rice? I was afraid it was gonna have no flavor, but it does. It tastes. It's actually pretty good. It's like a seven out of ten. That's good rice. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Why are you saying that? Going with. Isn't it pretty no, good? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Next, we'll try the fries. These look amazing. All right. I think Chick Fil A's waffle fries are so good. These are waffle fries, but they have like that beer batter. Um, glaze on it that I think is always really good at places. Good? That's all right. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm guessing they're like frozen waffle fries. Oh yeah, they're 100% frozen. Yeah. They might not even be fucking potatoes. <laughs> but whatever, this is like, it's really salty. I wish it was softer. It's kind of, it's really hard, but the flavor itself is really good. So I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10 also. It's good. All right. I love hush puppies. Let's try it. Oh my. Good. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm not, I can't even lie. I think it's all cooked in the same batter. I Probably. think that's what it is. It's all cooked in the same batter. This is pretty good though. It's soft on the inside. It's got a nice crunch to it. Great flavor. I've had better Hush Puppies before though, but this is just a seven out of 10. It's good. Everything is so far has been a seven out of 10. All right, now we have the shrimp. I'll be honest, this is what I'm most worried for. Like this is a fast food chain and they're selling shrimp. That's a little scary, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hold on, but I have hopes, all right? Everything has been pretty good so far. Deliberating. No, no, oh. I felt like I was eating a like a worm. Oh. See the flavor itself. That one, that one's really salty. <laughs> like that one might be a little too salty. That shrimp was slimy. Ew. Like I felt like <laughs> felt like I was eating like a fucking like a butterfly before it's hatched out of its cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> like a caterpillar, ew. Yeah. I give oh, it like a six out of 10. Turn. It has some good flavor, but the shrimp itself is really weird. Here's another shot of the food, just so you guys can see it. We have the chicken. Okay. Looks like a seahorse. I'll try the chicken first. No, it's not bad. The chicken is very like tough. It's very dry, extremely dry. The batter is good though. The batter is low key carrying. <laughs> but if you don't like sodium and salt and crap, you will not like this. All right, this is what I've been craving forever, dude. This fish. I really hope this is good. I've been thinking about this every single night. All right, here we go. Alaskan cod. That's actually pretty good. I really, I like that. All right, some. I don't know what it is. Something's kind of weird about the fish. <laughs> I don't know what they did to it. It doesn't taste bad. Like the texture doesn't really feel like fish. It's kind of weird, but it's not bad. It's like, it has a good flavor. I think it's mostly the batter. I think the actual fish tastes quite nice. This is the fish with the tartar. Oh, that malt vinegar is good. Mm, that's definitely the secret. Normally it's a seven out of 10, but with that malt and tartar, I'm bringing that up to an eight, baby. That's good. Okay, for being called the worst fast food chain to ever exist, I don't think it deserves that. There is so much worse. Burger King. <laughs> but yeah, overall, my Long John experience, oh, sorry, not my Long John experience. 
<laughs> it sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, my overall experience with Long John Silver's, I give that place as a fast food chain, I give it an eight out of 10. They have a really beautiful building aesthetic. It looks a little rundown, might wanna clean it up. But besides that, they have a great interior. It's really fun. The food is not bad. It's overall, everything was good, except the shrimp. The shrimp was fucking weird. <laughs> Do not get that shrimp, dude. Don't trust it. You might have a heart attack but it might be worth it, you know? You might get really bloated. <laughs> See, Plastic. in the end, you really did want the hat. <laughs> You're wearing it. You wanted the hat. Come on. So after trying the food, we realized it wasn't even that bad. In fact, it was quite good. Except the shrimp. It literally tasted like a fried, flaccid fucking dick. <laughs> that's not an exaggeration. Like, that's really, that's the best way to describe it. So if you want to just... Imagine fucking chewing on this thing, dude. So if the food here is actually pretty good, how on earth did it become this bottom of the barrel, worst fast food chain in history? Well, we actually found out right after. We decided to walk in the park after. It's only been like five minutes. And I feel like absolute shit. My stomach hurts so much. I feel like I'm being punished for going there. <laughs> oh my God, maybe they were right. Like it hurts to walk. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's that batter. That's why it's yeah. literally named the most unhealthy meal yeah. in America. Yeah. We just ate it. Maybe this is why. Maybe it wasn't a uh, flavor wise. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> or a maybe it was a health thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, dude, I literally feel so awful, man. I'd rather go to the bathroom like three times. God, this shit hurts so bad. Oh, my stomach does not like this at all. Oh, it's the food is extremely unhealthy. I am recording this right now and I feel like six buff big men just rearranged my insides. All at once too, not even at once, they just all went in at once. I feel like absolute garbage, I feel so sick. Could this be the reason why this restaurant has garnered such a terrible reputation? Well, I did some research and I found that this definitely is a huge contributor. The CPSI named this restaurant's main meal of the catch of the day as the worst meal in America. And that, that's fucking crazy considering KFC is still open. Shit, dude, I, fuck, I can go for some KFC, dude. I don't even care. I'll destroy my body for that. CPSI found that Long John Silver's fresh catch of the day meal, which has less food than what I order, has over 33 grams of trans fat, which is the most powerful promoter of heart disease. It contains over 1,300 calories. Not only that, it contains 3,700 grams of sodium, which I can vouch for that, dude. As soon as I bit into that, I'm like, damn, dude, there is a lot of salt. And that easily produces high blood pressure strokes. The CPSI really ripped apart Long John Silver's, which has caused many Americans to avoid eating there, and rightfully so. The second reason for this place's downfall is the terrible executive decisions that were made with Long John Silver's. In 1989, they tried a leveraged buyout, which means they tried to make Long John Silver's a private company, which they spent over $620 million. And this wasn't money they had, they didn't earn this money. They just put themselves into debt. They also owned other restaurants and they decided to close all of them and solely focus on Long John Silver's. For the first few years, they actually didn't start too bad. They actually were doing pretty well. But because of that $620 million debt, they were not able to stay afloat. In 1998, they filed for bankruptcy. They were then bought by the company who owned a and And Long John Silver's also did not do well under their ownership. And once again, they sold Long John Silver's. And all of this leads into our third reason. They have so few locations now, it has just been going down. Literally at 2017, they lost over half of their locations. And since then, they've just been going rapidly down. Because of all these locations closing, those who actually enjoy the restaurant, they have to drive over sometimes one hour or two hours just to get it and that is not worth it nobody's gonna do that for fucking long john silvers just to get a heart attack is that real no that's not worth it all right we get it long john silvers kind of sucks dick all right but how is it still in business like if nobody likes it what what how how is it open well from what i've researched I've discovered that it has a very, very small fan base that keeps it open. To be fair, there isn't a lot of fish fast food chains out there. This is like, for me, 
When I think of fish fast food, I think of Long John Silver. I don't know any other one. And there are some people who really, really like fish, even though it might not even be fish. I don't know what it is. It tastes good though. It tastes a little bit like fish. And another huge contributor to Long John Silver's is Lent. Lent is a Catholic or Christian tradition where, where they don't eat meat. And instead to substitute that, they only eat fish. Because of this, fast food chains always are selling a ton of fish during Lent, and Long John Silver's makes a ton of money during it. All right, y'all. That's why Long John Silver's is in, it's in the trash. All right, that's why it's there. It's so unhealthy, and people probably die from it. <laughs> but hey, I'm not even gonna lie. It was pretty good. All right, I might go there again. The Alaskan cod with the vinegar and the tartar sauce. Might be worth a heart attack. It was pretty good, you know? All right, y'all. If you want me to look into another fast food restaurant, comment down below because I will. I will do anything for you. I am your humble servant. I will. I promise. I will. If, you, if I don't do it, you can fucking murder my dog. Yes. I, I, will, I will literally give it to you. I will hand you the knife. I don't have a dog. So I, that was really easy for me to say because someone's probably like, what the fuck? That was way too easy. No, I don't have a dog anymore now that was all right y'all you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see y'all in the next one okay goodbye